So Ryan, you performed last night at Good Handies. Can you tell us a bit about your performance? Yeah, sure. I did a 12-minute uh, best of the 90s medley kind of thing. Uh, it was uh, Free Your Mind by On Vogue, It by Janet Jackson, complete with like the choreography. Um, Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana, Don't Speak by No Doubt, and Vogue by Madonna. And Vogue as well had the, the choreography as well. So when was your big break? How long have you been doing this exactly? Um, pretty much, like, I've been a performance artist my whole life and I kind of started getting downtown as early as I could in my life, so uh, a long time. Professionally, I started in uh, 98. So I had my first, uh, my big break was a, a cabaret at Buddy's. Um, Damien Mellon was on it, Evelyn Perry was on it, Riku Tamaki was on it, um, uh, Ursha Manji was also on it. Um, and uh, it's cool because like all those people kind of like became something, like we all kind of like rose up out of, the, out of that night to uh, certain levels and it was pretty cool. So what has been your most memorable performance to date? Um, it's a uh, split between two. Uh, I was, uh, in 2004, um, I was uh, the first person of color to take on the lead in, he in Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Um, and I'm very, very proud of that. Uh, I was in the movie as well, with a minor part. Uh, but lots of people saw uh, the stage version that I did. We did it regionally in, in Ontario. Um, people came from like Japan to see it, and Australia, and it's very, because Hedwig has the cult that's attached to it, um, we got a lot of exposure that way. Um, and then last year, my installation at Nuit Blanche was huge and uh, bigger than I ever would have thought it would be and very successful. Like 16,000 people um, saw my performance alone. Um, it was like a 12 hour, um, 12 hour disco uh, retro celebration. It was a very, very uh, fantasy costumes, lots of glitter, lots of like big billowy capes and wings. Um, Lots of sailor suits, lots of, uh, I had a big like afro at one point, um, and we did all like 70s and retro songs, and it was really, really good. With all the costumes and the performances, where do you draw your inspiration from? I'm very inspired by uh, people, like, people like Judy Garland, who uh, brought so much passion and so much of her soul to what she did, even if her physical body couldn't necessarily keep up with it. Um, I'm inspired by people like James Brown is a huge inspiration to me. Uh, the whole concept of, of giving your, your audience all you have until there's nothing left. Um, Streisand is a big influence because she'll just like, she'll just hit a note and hold it for 45 seconds and you're just like watching her going like. And uh, that's something I definitely like have uh, taken away from her. Um, I've worked with Liza Minnelli a few times, and Liza is somebody that I've uh, I've pulled a lot from in terms of uh, in terms of material uh, and in terms of uh, dedication and artistry and putting in the work to have a good performance. What's your main goal for the future when it comes to performing? World domination. I think that I will not be happy until um, I can work on a large scale in theater, I can work in a large scale on film, I can work on a large scale in music, I can work on a large scale in dance, uh, I like to have a, um, a large scale political presence. Uh, I've been a part of uh, a few really, really large um, protest rallies and they're something, they're, there's two that I'm really proud of. Last year's No One Is Illegal March along Bloor. Um, and the uh, 2004 uh, anti-war um, protest in New York City, where a lot of people got arrested, and there was a lot, lots of police abuse and lots of unrest, but lots of, lots of coming together and lots of standing up, and that was really, really inspiring to have all those people. Um, so yeah, I just want to, I really, really want to get on top of all the things that, uh, that um, make me me. Thank you very much, Ryan, for your time. You're welcome, thanks for having me.